Hello humans, it's Just Martine and welcome to a 48 hour mini TBR star hop readathon. The goal is to try and get through mini TBR star hop information about the creator down below in 48 hours. Do I think this will happen for me? No. I'm going to see a movie with my family tomorrow. I'm going to church on Sunday for VBS Sunday. I'm taking a chill and I've kind of been in a reading slump this week. So not gonna lie, I don't think I'm going to finish this in the 48 hours of the weekend. If that is the case, I'm going to stretch it and say 48 hours of reading. Can I finish it in 48 hours of reading? But I've got the board right here on the iPad. I started this clip before I thought of what to use for my game piece, so I'm just going to use my little ace pin, I guess, and we're going to start on the board. And I don't have a dice right here, so that was cool of me to do. <laughs> cool, now I have a dice. <laughs> Let's roll it. A one. <laughs> We're off to a good start. So that's a star. So here's my star spinner wheel. Spin. And let's see what it lands on. Free pick. Truthfully, what a start. It's not yet 7 p.m. So it's not starting yet, which is good. Because I have no idea what I'm going to do about this free pick. That's somehow worse than a prompt. It's 6.51 p.m. So I'm going to get set up to start reading. And I've made a decision on my free pick. Is it a good decision? I can't decide. So on my TikTok, I've been doing a reread of the Heartstopper comics. And I've been doing a little vloggy vlog action there. And I need to get to the third one. So while I'm here for a free pick, it'll take me like 30, 40 minutes to do. And that's good because I only moved one space. I guess we're going to start with that. <laughs> It's approaching 8 p.m. and it took me a little longer to read Heartstopper Volume 3 than I anticipated just because I was updating my TikTok video a lot. But anyway, I'm done with it now. So I'm ready to pick my next read. Here's where we are. Let's roll. Three. Okay, that's better. One, two, three. A sun. So here I have my sun wheel. So let's do it. Oof, a TBR veteran. I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower while I mull over what TBR veterans I have. I really tried to find one of the genuinely older books on my shelf of unread books, not just like kind of old. So I'm going to be reading Legend by Marie Lu, which I actually tried to read during one other 48 hour readathon. I think it was during my first 24 and 48, but I read like the first page and it was like, my brain does not compute. So I saved it for later, I guess later is now. I don't know anything about this. I think I got this at a used bookstore, but I don't even know. And that's how you know this book has been here a while. So TBR veteran, it is. It's almost 9 30. I'm a third of the way into this book. I'm going to sleep. Good morning. It's 6 45 and I've been awake for a little while now, but I haven't read anything because I know I'm going to get really sleepy as soon as I start reading. And so I was like, maybe I can convince myself to get out of bed first, but no. So already yawning, before I've read a single page, off to a good start. It's 717. I'm halfway through the book, enjoying it so far. I need to get myself out of bed, otherwise I will fall back asleep. It's almost 10 a.m. and I just finished Legend. I'm giving this four stars. Truly a like original dystopian style thing. So fascinating that the author was inspired by Les Mis for this. I really loved knowing that while reading it. I'm definitely interested to continue the series and see where it goes. I loved like the empathy and compassion of some of the characters in this. And I thought it was really interesting. All the circumstances were pretty fascinating and the action sequences were not so much that I had trouble concentrating during them very much. So that's always a pleasant surprise for me. So overall, a good next read. So now I gotta pick my next read. I'm about to leave for a walk, so I gotta do this pretty quick but I want to know what I'm reading next. So we ended on a sun the last time. We get three again. So one, two, three. We made it past the first black hole so that's great. So a star prompt. Let's go to my star prompt spinning wheel. Spin. Beautiful. I actually think for beautiful I'm going to finish a little bit country which I'm pretty well up through like 
I don't have too long left in it, but I just love the cover for it so much. It's definitely one of the first things that drew me to it. So when I get home from my walk, I'll continue reading this. Ernie, riding in style. Come on, Ernie. It's 11.50 and I just finished a little bit country and I'm giving it four stars. And here's the thing. The characters in this, as like emotionally intelligent and thoughtful as say, Nick Nelson and Charlie Spring, not always, are they better than a lot of the other YA contemporaries I've read though? I think yes. And I loved the ending so much and there were some things that I was not expecting. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to express it. This did have hard moments but there was also joy in it and it was about, you know, being the person that you are and the person that you want to be, not giving up on your dreams and all of those things. And I just thought it was a really great debut novel and I'm excited for Brian Kennedy to write more. This was fun. This had some tropes that I like. There was a bit where I worried that I wouldn't be able to root for the couple in the end because one of them was like acting some type of way when they were around other people. I was like, no, don't do that. You're being a real jerk. Like he was not at all a jerk when it was just the two of them. And he realized that he had been awful and did things to fix it, etc. So not saying those moments were good, but I got over them eventually. Those are all my thoughts. So now it's time to pick out a new book. So let's roll again. Oh, okay. <laughs> One. Moon prompt time. I think this is our first moon prompt of this round. Let's see what we get. Library. Okay. I'm in the middle of a couple library books. For the prompt of library, I think I'm going to finish up Alatsue because I'm almost a third of the way into it and I have like two and a half hours of reading time according to Bookly left. I won't get done much before I leave for the movies because we're probably gonna leave pretty soon, but at least I'm not starting from like the beginning of a book. So this is actually a pretty good prompt as much as I'd love to pick up a random other book now. I'm- this is good! We'll make progress in the books we're already reading. Good! <laughs> it's almost 5 30. This afternoon we went and saw Elvis and it was so good. Like Austin Butler absolutely killed it. It's dead now. Austin killed it. Then we went and grabbed dinner. Then I had a phone call with Harris. And right now I just watched an interview because I'd seen Austin Butler in a few things before. I didn't know who he was, but I'd seen him in things before. Like he was in two episodes of Hannah Montana. He was in Sharpay's Fabulous Adventure and he was in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. But he did so good in this that I was like, what does he sound like when he's talking? So I had to watch an interview. Um, that was just really interesting because I watched the one with Jimmy Fallon where he also shows him the different impressions. So I recommend. But now I got to get back to reading a lots away and I have a little less than two hours left of that. So down to business. It's about to be 7 p.m. and I just finished reading a lots away. I'm giving it three stars. I don't really know what to say about this book because I had a really, really, really hard time concentrating on it. This was for several days the book that I read right before bed. And yet today when I was reading it, it didn't make better sense. It was just not the kind of story that clicks in my brain well. I think it was definitely like an interesting conception. The main character was Ace, although it didn't play like a part in the plot, but it was nice representation to have. And then indigenous people's representation, and that was own voices representation too. So that was great, but the actual plot story was like a supernatural mystery type thing, not really my vibe, but I'm glad I gave it a shot. And now let's figure out what our next book is going to be. Okay, here's where we are. I would really prefer not to get a three, but we've rolled two threes so far, so what's our... Oh, yes, four. Okay, one, two, three, four. That means we're safe for the game, which is great, and we need another moon prompt. Here we go. Another free pick. For some reason, free picks really get to me. <laughs> so uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna read for this. I'm actually gonna take a bit of a break from reading for right now because I'm tired. So I'll probably work on my next read before bed. So you should hear about it at some point, but I am gonna take a break for now. Free pick. Oh, 
what the heck is happening? It's eight o'clock. I finally made up my mind. For my next free pick, I'm going to be reading Life is Messy by Matthew Kelly. I could have picked something longer theoretically because I'm now I'm past the black hole, but given the fact that I've rolled a one multiple times, I could theoretically still have like four more books. So I'm just gonna go short for now. I'm going to try to get a good chunk of this done before I fall asleep tonight. So I'm going to get in my pajamas and start getting to it. It's almost 10 p.m. And I just finished Life is Messy. I'm giving this four stars. It was just like a feel-good self-help book that I'm glad to have and made me think about some things and made for like a really peaceful reading night. So that's great. I'm really tired, but I do want to roll to see what my next prompt is. So this is where we ended. So this could be the last roll, depending on our luck. It's not. Okay. <laughs> so one, two. Great. So we'll have two more books, this moon prompt and then a free pick. Okay. Well, <laughs> over 400 pages. Good. For the prompt of over 400 pages, I'm going to be reading The Strange Fascinations of Noah Hypnotic by David Arnold, which is also a poll pick for whatever a thon. So that's good. I've not started this book. It's literally just over 400 pages. So that's helpful because I wanted to read it in this next week anyway. So I guess I'll be reading it tomorrow. Good night. Happy Sunday. It's almost 1 p.m. This morning I slept in. Then I read for a little bit. Then I went to church where I had a snow cone that I showed you. I am on page 46 of this book and I am loving this book so far. So I'm hoping to get a significant amount of the way into it today. But I don't think I'm going to aim to finish it because it is kind of a long read and I don't want to get myself to dislike it by reading it too quickly or forcing myself to read when I really don't feel like reading because this might be a five star read. We'll have to see, we'll have to see. It'll probably at least be a four star. Right now I'm going to edit for a little bit and then hopefully get some reading in and that's the plan. I didn't read a single page yet this afternoon. It's nighttime now. It's 6 p.m. The readathon's about to officially end. Not for me, it isn't. <laughs> it's 8.30 p.m. on this lovely Sunday night. I'm officially halfway through the strange fascinations of Noah Hypnotic, and I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Like, I have no idea where the story is going to go, but I'm here. I'm on the ride. I'm ready for the roller coaster. I like the characters. I love the writing style. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> it's just past 3 p.m. on Monday, and I've officially finished my reading for the readathon. So here's what you missed. I did finally get through The Strange Fascinations of Noah Hypnotic by David Arnold. I'm giving this five stars. The writing style was like a mixture of Alice Oseman and John Green. I just really loved the writing style. The plot was pretty interesting, but I just really jived with the style of it. So, uh, hooray. And I did get this at the Dollar Tree, so major win. And then for my last free pick, which I didn't roll, but it, it was just one space away, so I would have gotten it, I decided to read Head Games. The graphic novel because this will also fit for the GP and S prompt for whatever a thon because it has a G and an S in the title and then a P in the graphic novel. <laughs> so I'm counting it. And I'm giving this 2.5 stars graphic novels. They really don't work for me. And this one was an adaptation of an actual book. And I feel like maybe if I knew the story of the book, it would have been different. I just felt like we jumped around a lot in here, but I didn't know what was happening. That's- it was just kind of meh, fine, whatever. Also got this at the Dollar Tree. A less good review, but still cool that I found it at the Dollar Tree, so that's the end of this. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what's your favorite prompt in a readathon, like what's your favorite reading prompt, and subscribe for more reading, writing, and college lifestyle content, and until next time, bye humans, bye! <laughs>